slipping. Hi guys. I don't think anyone's logged in yet. I am just trying to adjust my iPad. It keeps slipping. I see people are starting to log in. Hi, Rory. Hi, Jay. Okay, my iPad is slipping here, so excuse me for a minute, guys. I gotta fix this here. Okay. All right, that'll work. That's a little better. Hey, Andy. So, this is what we're reading today. Just in case you ever wonder, it's kind of like a tribute to parents because it is Father's Day this weekend. So, I thought it'd be fun to read about how much your parents love you. Hi, Lori. So, it is four o'clock, but I kind of, uh, I logged on a little late, so we're going to give everybody one more minute. Hi, Priscilla. Um, I just got done working out, so I'm a little flush. And I have a little funny story for you guys. So I hit my head like four days ago, the back of it, really, really bad. Um, and it's so tender that I can't put my hair in a ponytail or a bun it hurts so bad so I have to work out with my hair down clean the house with my hair down and it's so uncomfortable but it's more uncomfortable with this tender spot so but don't worry I'm okay I think um, I came up and there's a shelf right above me and I hit the corner of it and it Hi, Frank. How come you are not dressed up? I don't, Frank, I don't dress up every week. Um, and I try to go with the theme of the book. And we're kind of doing like a tribute to like parents. Um, and <laughs> no, Priscilla, that even hurts. So if I like lay down or um, any type of pressure, it hurts. But um, anyways, Frank, to answer your question, I didn't really know how to dress up like my mom or dad today. And since it's Father's Day, you don't want to see me dressed up like my dad. He His favorite outfit was swim trunks and a t-shirt, so, and a hat. All right, it's 4.02, so we are going to get started. Um, we are reading Just In Case You Ever Wonder by Max Lucado. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of this author. If not, you're missing out. He is um, well known for his children's book. He is a Christian author. So we are gonna read this book today and we're actually gonna read another one by him next week. And we're gonna talk a little bit about him. I have some fun facts about him. So, like I said, um, because this weekend is Father's Day, I thought it'd be fun to read a book about how much parents love their children. So let's get started. Hi, Kathy. Uh, this was Haley's book. This was her writing her name in her book when she was little. She's gotten much better at her penmanship. So here's the first page and it's a little girl with her doll. Long, long, long ago, God made a decision, a very important decision, one that I'm really glad he made. He made the decision to make you. Here's the picture. The same hands that made the stars made you. The same hands that made the cannons made you. 
the same hands that made the trees, the moon, and the sun made you. That's why you are so special. God made you. Here's the picture of the little kid sleeping. He made you in a very special way. He made your eyes so they would twinkle. He made your mouth so you could smile. He made you laugh so you could giggle. God made you like nobody else. So you see the dad changing the diaper in this picture. Some of the pictures we see the mom and some of the pictures we see the dad. If you looked all over the world, in every city, in every house, there would be no one else like you. No one with your eyes, no one with your mouth, no one with your laugh. You are very, very special. It's a picture of the little kid's bedroom. And since you are so special, God wanted to put you in just the right home, where you would be warm when it's cold, where you'd be safe when you are afraid, where you would have fun and learn about heaven. So after lots of looking for just the right family, God sent you me, and I'm so glad he did. So we're on the couch reading a book, and we see the little Christmas tree. I'll never forget the first time I saw you. Your eyes were closed. Your fingers were curled in two little fists. Your cheeks were puffy and round. I knew in my heart God had sent someone very wonderful for me to take care of. So there's the um, little kid as a baby. There's all the fun newborn stuff. Clothes and books and toys. Your first night with me, I heard every sound you made. I heard you giggle, I heard you sniff, I heard your little lips smack. I heard you cry when you wanted to eat, and so I fed you. There's a picture of the baby in her little bed. You're bigger now, and you can do more things. You can walk, you can run, you can play and you can talk. You can eat and sing and look at books. You're not a baby anymore. There she is. She's getting a little bit older. You can see her toys are a little bit older too. It's not the stuffed animals and the rattles. It's books and crayons. But as you grow and change, some things will stay the same. I'll always love you. I'll always hug you. I'll always be on your side. And I want you to know that, just in case you ever wonder. Here's a picture of them having some fun in the snow. Remember I'm here for you on dark nights when you hear noises in the closet, just call me. There she is. You can tell she's a little bit older in this picture too. Here's her closet. She left the door open. That's one thing I always make sure to do is when my kids go to bed is close their closet door. When you see monsters in the shadows, just call me. On hard days when kids are mean and don't treat you like they should, come to me and talk to me. So there's the monsters in the shadows. Here she is. You can tell she's getting a little bit older. She's at school. If your grades are bad and your teacher is mad, come to me because I love you and I always will just in case you ever wonder.
Most of all, I'll be here to teach you about God. He loves you. He protects you. He and his angels are always watching over you. Okay. There she is, a little bit older, just having a chat with one of her parents. And God wants me to make sure you know about heaven. It's a wonderful place. There are no tears there, no monsters in the shadows, no mean people. This is my favorite picture of the book. I know I always point out my favorite picture. And this is it. I love the snow, the moon. You never have to say goodbye or goodnight or I'm hungry. You never get cold or sick or afraid. She's a tad bit older here too. We see her growing up. In heaven, you are so close to God that he will hug you just like I hug you. It's going to be wonderful. I will be there too, I promise. We will be there together forever. Remember that. I love you, just in case you ever wonder. And that's the ending page. And there's Haley again with her drawing in her books. So, the end. This is the back page. Little cute um, baby toys. So, um, just in case you ever wonder, talks about how much um, parents love their kids. So just remember that this weekend, whoever you're celebrating Father's Day with, um, just love on them and let them love on you because, you know, um, life is crazy and Sometimes um, those people we love aren't always going to be with us. So just make sure this weekend you give those who are taking care of you an extra big hug and tell them that you love them. And I will see you guys next week. And um, I will dress up because it seems like everybody likes to see me read when I'm dressed up. So I hope you guys have a great week. I miss you guys, and I hope I see all of you at the Freedom Parade. I will be there. I'm decorating a booth. I'm so excited about the booth. Um, it's going to be unique. At least I think it is. I don't know what everybody else is doing, but um, I'm excited um, about my booth. So, hope to see you guys there, and I'll see you on Tuesday.